If you're going to try to become a scratch golfer and post your swing on YouTube, then you better be ready for some haters, including this guy, Lonely Engineer 69 But to be fair, he makes a lot of good points. In my last video, I missed a lot of greens from the middle of the fairway. Oh, that was nice, stays out of the bunker. I think I went right in the sand, didn't I? My driver was not great, even though I practiced it a million times this winter. Yeah, that's not bad. Now, if I wanted to, I could just post my best rounds and make myself look like an amazing golfer. But that wouldn't be honest. And I wanted to do this series completely honest to show you how much work you need to put in if you really want to become a scratch golfer. Ah, oh, three putt to start. Now, looking back at our favorite hater, I have to disagree on his last point. I do believe my practice is beneficial. And even though my last round was rough, I think every swing, every day, and every extra effort you put into golf matters when you're trying to become a scratch golfer. In my last video, I went plus eight on nine holes, which is one of my worst rounds of the year. In this series, you're not gonna see me try to fake my way to scratch golf. I'm gonna be completely honest. That means posting the good rounds and the bad. All right, we got 80 yards to the pin. Two years ago, I didn't know any of my distances from 100 and in. One of the things that's helped me get a lot better from this range is to have a club and swing for every 10 yard increment from 100 and in. Here I send it a little long, but still have a good look at birdie. Derek. Oh my God. I, I, I topped it. I'm still struggling with bouncing long putts, but I have a good look for par. <sighs> Baby in them. And even though I've hit 100% greens and rag, I've three putted two holes, so I'm plus two. Oh, come on, be left of those trees. In previous years, this is where I would have fallen apart. I'm plus two through three holes. At this point, the best I can get is a par. But one of the things that helps me keep low scores and keep motivated is to give myself little challenges. Oh, that's a good shot. The last time I played this nine, I triple or quad bogeyed this hole to get to plus two. If I'm comparing myself to my best ever score, I'd be really worried. But when I think about chasing my previous round, oh, that was really far, but really right. I feel in a lot better spot. In last video, I fell apart down the stretch. I rolled off. So when I fix my mind on just beating myself, I feel way more confident because I just need to beat someone who finished very poorly. And while I look like your average bogey golfer right now, this is where I start to save strokes around the green. Right, come on, let's get one one putt here. Right in the dead nut center. Well, my driver and irons are probably pretty Ooh. similar to most bogey golfers. I feel like I can almost always get up and down from within 30 yards. Oh, I pulled that thing. That's probably right in the bunker. And again, if I was just worried about my best overall score, I'd probably be really annoyed right now. But I know chasing my last round, all I'm trying to do is to beat that score. I swing confidently at my bunker spot, and get some nice backspin to keep it close. I give this putt a good look. Let's go, baby. And get up and down for par. Suddenly we're on the seventh hole, and after a terrible start, we're only plus three. There we go. Thanks, guys. All right, 285 yard drive. We have 95 to the pin. I might be a little short. Oh no, pretty tricking good. Thanks! And after a rough start, we get two good shots in a row and leave us a nice 10 foot putt for birdie. Thanks. And all of a sudden, we're onto the eighth hole and we're plus two. Might be a little short. Oh, we're pretty good. I think it came back a little bit. And even though this putt's a little bit longer, for the second hole in a row, we have a chance at birdie. I almost hold it. That'd have been hype. One of the things I'm a firm believer in is every bad shot you have is an opportunity to get better. This is only the second time I played this hole. I don't think I'll have a look over there. And although I had a good drive, I don't have a look at the green. I'll use that in my later rounds to save me strokes later. But today I'm left with a punch shot. And if I want to become a scratch golfer, I gotta learn to get these down. Really? And although it wasn't pretty, we're left with about a six foot putt to save par. Oh! 
And even though it's not scratch golf, we're plus three through nine, and I know what club I need to work on, the putter. Oh, that was nice, get on. One of the hardest parts about being a seven handicap is half the time you look like you're an amazing golfer. Not quite there, Kobe. I don't got the distance you got, you know? 31 yards, good drive, about 270. But this is a shot I honestly hate. 30 yards with not a lot of green to work with. And that's why I hate it. Dang it, are you freaking kidding me? And the other half of the time, you look like a bogey golfer. Even when you're duffing shots, if you can just get up and down within 30 yards, you can usually end up scoring pretty well. Oh, not bad. I'm left with the short putt. Oh my gosh. Dad. And the putter is still cold. Bogey. Now, one of my most popular YouTube videos is when I hit my driver 3,000 times in one month. And even after all that, Oh, that was ripped, but that's left. Stay in play for me. I still have days where I can't hit my driver. I end up losing my ball in the long stuff and end up having to take a drop. I'm a little worried about the tree, but feel like it's thin enough that I can still send it to the green. Get through. Wow. Oh my God, it rolled off. And getting up and down from this distance is crucial to limiting your bad holes. Well, that's pretty nice. Alrighty, bogeys to start. Par four, 378. Not a good start. But our first round, we had a great start and we finished poorly, so maybe we can pick it up from here. Oh, that's a slice, holy smokes. I haven't done that in a long time. The driver stays cold, but we're lucky enough to have a look at the green. That's nice. Hopefully I got the distance, because that's right at the pen. A little short, okay. So, it's a good putt. Good putt. Good par. All right, we're back on the par train. Even though I started off poorly in this round, I'm still comparing myself to the last round I played here. That allows me to stay aggressive, knowing yesterday's round is about to go downhill. In my mind, this allows me to hunt a good score instead of being afraid of a bad score. Oh, that's freaking left. Holy smokes. And even when I have confidence on the tee, I still hit some terrible tee shots. All right, that was a terrible tee shot, but I actually like our look at the green here. A lot of room to work with. Just got to hit a strong 60 degree like that, come on, stick, stick. Oh, that's nice. We get a good up and down and we're left for about a 12 footer for par. Oh. Even though the driver's going horribly, I try to find some positives on every tee shot. This one got lucky and found an opening at one of my favorite yardages. So I try to focus on having my favorite yardage to hit instead of being worried about my past tee shot. Ah, thin that a little bit, Mike. I think it's on. Oh yeah, it worked out good. And we're on in rag with one of our closest birdie putts of the day. Go! You freaking ball. We escape with a par and now have an 164 yard shot for our 15th hole of the day. A little thin, but that is going pretty good. We get another look at birdie and this time... Short. I leave it Shoot. short again. All right, we got two pars in a row. This is a 506 yard par five. As long as I keep this in play, good chance for another par here. Oh, that was the best drive of the day. I love that. I end up actually getting pretty lucky. While I had a great drive, there was a river about 20 yards back that I could have put my ball into if I didn't hit a perfect drive. We're 223 yards from the pin, and my main goal here is just to get it within 30 yards. I know if I can put it that close, I have a good chance for birdie. We get within 20 yards, and I'm just trying to stick it within 10 feet to give myself a good luck for bird. Oh, let's go. We get our first birdie of the day. And even though both nines started off really bad, I've stayed calm and kept myself in it. Last time I played this course, I went OB to the left and had to re-tee. So I'm trying to aim to the middle of the fairway or go to the right. I end up not hitting a great drive, but we're in the middle of the fairway with a good luck at 125 yards out. Oh, I thinned it. I think it's gonna end up fine though. I end up getting lucky and thin it to the exact distance I need that to, and I'm left with the shortest birdie putt oh, of the day. Get in. Oh, Derek. We're sitting plus five and we're feeling really good, but the 18th hole is the hardest on the course. It's a 421 yard par four, where the only option is to lay up about 200 yards in the fairway. Oh, come on. That's really good. I don't get caught up in that tree. That's about as good a shot as I could have hit there. And even when you think you hit a good tee shot, if you're a little bit short, you have this tree in the way. In today's round, I try to get aggressive. I shoot for the green and I go for birdie. Oh no. 
double doinked off the tree that might be in the water i end up having to take a drop and this is a good reminder that sometimes it's best to play for a bogey and hope for a par than to go for the hero shot and end up in a really bad situation i get afraid of the river and send this one long and now i'm left for about a 40 foot putt for bogey I give it a good run, but leave myself a little short. And now I'm left for a knee knocker, hoping to not get a triple. Oh, I finished with a plus 777. And even though I shot a good score, my handicap went from a 7.2 to a 7.3. But I'm not worried because I know that every day I practice, I'm that much closer to my goal. Thanks for watching this episode of Journey to Scratch. If you have any comments for me, leave them below. And please make sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.